Hello everyone, Asset Lemonade Cosplay here. In today's video we have a very special guest, Momo! So this is our new cat, uh, she's called Momo. She was born at the end of April and she became part of our family at the beginning of July. No, nee 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 ooh 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 ooh. However, this amazing kitten deserves some amazing accessories to wear. Let us craft some for her. Our lady has a refined taste. She knows exactly what she wants and she will fight you if she doesn't get that. <laughs> okay. Got him. First, let us make a bow tie for all her formal events at the royal palace slash castle. These are all of the pieces that I need for the bow tie. This will be her neckband. These two pieces will be for the actual bow, and one of them has interfacing on the back. And this will be the actual knot of the bow. For the closure I will use this little clip. I just sewn the pieces together for the bow tie. First we have the two uh, rectangles that I sewed together uh, using a 1cm seam allowance. Then we have the neck band, which I just folded in half and then sewed along the long side. And then we have the knot piece, also folded in half and sewn along the long edge. Now it's time to flip these the right side out. So here are all the pieces, nicely pressed, as you can see. And now it's time to assemble the bow tie. So I just finished the actual neck band uh, with a little clip. I just tried it on her and it does fit, so it's really nice. So now let's attach the actual bow part to it. Okay, it's done. Let's see how it looks on the model. Next, Madame also needs something to wear to her feline friends. No formal dress here, but she has to look her best, no? These are all the pieces that I need for the scarf. This, again, will be for her neckband. These two pieces will be for the actual scarf. And then this is a little clip that I'm gonna use as a closure. Okay, so I just sewn the two triangles right sides together, leaving this long edge open. So now it's time to turn it right side out. So I just pressed the triangle into place and then top stitched around the edge uh, to give it a nice, a nice clean edge. And now it's time to attach it to the actual collar band. So I attached the little scarfy onto the actual neck band as you can see. And now I will sew the little clip on by hand. Okay, the scarf is done as well. Let's see how it looks on Momo. <music> Lastly, all work and no play makes Jack a dull boy. Her Majesty wants to have fun, be silly and have a good laugh. And what is a better way than making a burger hat? So we have a circle out of brown wool. Then we have two squares for the cheese, two circles for the tomatoes, and then two random shapes for the salad. First up I'm going to take a pencil needle and sew around the perimeter of the circle and stop it for the bun on top. Okay, so this is the bun uh, that I made. Uh, as you can see, it's gathered on the, on the bottom with stuffing inside, so it's nice and stuffy. And then I use this black permanent marker to do the dots on top. Then we have the veggies that I put right sides together and sewn all along the edge, leaving a gap open so I can turn it right side out. And then we have the salad that I sewn together with like these scallop edges. Then I cut down the excess and just made little notches inside, uh, just so that it turns more easily. 
So let's turn these two pieces right side out. Okay, we have the bun, the cheese, the salad, and, and the tomatoes. I also have already made some elastic to go around her head slash neck. Let's assemble this burger, shall we? Okay, now it's done. Let's go to the catwalk. So, I tried to put the burger on Momo, but she did not really like it. So, yeah, enjoy this one semi-decent clip that I have of her wearing it. Yeah, she doesn't like it. Anyway, I had so much fun making these little things for my furry friend. She looks so dapper in her bow tie, but the burger was a little too cheesy. Maybe I will make her a proper collar in the future? Anyway, if you would like to try this out on your cat, you definitely can. In fact, I know people who also have a cat, and also have a YouTube channel. I am not calling out anyone specifically here, but if your cat's name starts with the letter C and ends on Harley, then consider yourself tagged. Thank you so much for watching and see you in the next video!